Hey there, team, and welcome to a very special episode of Canadian Cannabis, because today I'm going to be checking out some of the cheapest flour available in Canada. And here we have it, 28 grams of flour that only cost me $5 a gram. How nuts is that? Now, before even opening it, just the fact that it's $5 a gram does make me think a few things. I'd have to assume I'm going to get small nugs. I'm going to get immature nugs. I'm going to get dry nugs with a bad trim job. It might not burn properly. I definitely assume it's not going to be amazing flour, but still $5 a gram. I just had to check it out. So let's do it together right now. Now, of course, before I open it up, I want to see what it says on the website, what kind of information it has online. So let's check it out together. I'll drop a little zoom up in the corner here so you could see with me. Now, as you could see, right what we have in front of us is Rotterdam OG. Now, that's going to be by a company called Highly Dutch, which is owned by T God, which is also called the Green Organic Dutchman. Now, it says it's going to be between 18 and 22%, so a decent amount of THC. It says it's going to be indica, THC dominant, and the main terpene is going to be pining. So like a pine kind of earthy forest smell. Very, very cool and definitely goes along with that indica type body buzz. Now, let's continue here. It says 28 grams. That's going to be how much flour I have in this nice little plastic container here. We keep going down. You could see the price. 518 a gram. 518 a gram. Just nuts. $145 for 28 grams of flour. It is hard to beat that price unless you're growing your own flour. I mean, $5 a gram is just beautiful. So let's see if we could find any more information. We're going to scroll down here. And again, it says it's going to be a brand called Highly Dutch. The supplier is Green Organic Dutchman, like we said. It's an indica. The terpenes are going to be pinene, caryophylline, as. Asimanine, 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 I'm not sure what that one is, myrcene, and guayol. So a few of those, I'm not 100% sure what they are, but because of the pinene, because it says it's going to be indica dominant, I do make some assumptions right off the bat. So let's keep going here. It says it's supposed to be earthy and sweet. So that's what I expect. That's what I'm going to be looking for is the nice earthy, sweet, pining terpenes. But we'll figure that out together. So that's pretty much all the information we have online. So now let's move to our bag right here and see what kind of information we have on our bag. Let me just give you a quick little close up here. You could see all the information. We got our nice duty paid sticker right here on top. So right on the front here, again, I'll do a nice little close-up in the corner so you could follow. It says Rotterdam OG. So Rotterdam is going to be a town in Amsterdam, and we all know what Amsterdam is famous for. And OG doesn't stand for original gangster with these guys. It stands for organically grown. So there's no pesticides, no chemicals, no crazy stuff put in your flour. This is going to be living soil organic flour. So they don't have to flush out all the chemicals that they put in. They don't have to do anything crazy like that. This is organic cannabis. So super excited to be trying out some legal government organic cannabis. So let's keep on going here. It says dried cannabis, indica, 28 grams. And then right here it says... 194.8 milligrams of THC per gram. So we know that that means that there is 19.48% uh, 19 THC per gram. 
which is right in the middle of what we were told. We were told it was going to be 18 to 22 percent on the website and right here we have 19 and a half percent THC. Absolutely beautiful. Now it's got zero CBD, no CBD in that bad boy. So let's turn it on around. Check out the back. We got the keep out of reach of children, of course. No children are getting a hold of my cannabis. This is all for me. I don't share my flower. Now it's got the lot number right here. It says packaged on April 29th. So about a month and a half ago, which really isn't bad. I've seen flower that was packaged like six months ago. So a month and a half is definitely within the range that's acceptable. Let's keep on going. It says for inhalation, store in a dry place, no expiry date. And then it says green organic Dutchman and all their information on the bottom. So that's going to be everything written on this package. We have nothing more to read. What we got to do now is check out this flower. Now, like I said, because it's only $5 a gram, I do expect small, immature, leafy, dry nugs, but hopefully I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. So let's open this up together and see exactly what we got. So right here I got my scissors because I want to get a nice clean cut on this bad boy. So let's give you guys a nice shot and let's just cut right across, right across here. I'm going to try keeping that little sticker intact just because I don't know I feel like I kind of want to and let's keep on cutting all the way across boom so we've officially opened our flower here's gonna be our little duty paid sticker right there and here is our flower so I'm gonna give you the first shot before I even get to look at it you guys get to look at it first so let's oh geez they really got it child proof here I'm just going to have to make sure it opens. Okay, there you go. So you can see I got a little opening here. I still haven't seen the flower. So let's give you guys the first shot. Open it on up. And boom. So I just saw a nug fall on the table. So I do like the fact that there's nugs. So what do you guys see? How does it look? What color? How big are the nugs? Does it look dry? Drop down in the comments, tell me what it looks like, because I've got no clue. You guys get the first shot. So now, let me check it out. First, I'm going to give it a whiff. Ooh. That actually has a decently strong smell. Wow, I really didn't expect that. Now, I got this one loose nug that fell out. And look at that, that's like a full gram nug. That's one of the biggest nugs I've gotten from any LP. So very stoked on that. Hopefully it isn't the only big nug. We'll dump it back in there. So I'm getting like a, like a musty, earthy, not really getting much of the sweet pine coming across. Maybe when I break it open, I'll get it. But for now, I want to see how, I want to see how, I want to make sure we actually got our 28 grams of flour. So I'm just going to take my little scale here, put the top on, and I'm going to grab my big yogurt container. Because I mean, I'm not going to be able to scale this whole 28 grams at once without something to help. So that's why I got my yogurt container. So because I put the container on first before opening it, everything's teared out, everything's at zero. So right now, I'm just going to upside down this flower into our container so we could see exactly how much it weighs. And now that I'm taking it out of the bag, not only do I see some nice big nugs, which I really appreciate, it's actually got some freshness. I've never had an LP flower that actually had some sticky freshness. I am so impressed. But let's look down here. 27.83. So only 0.17 off. Now I know that with the LP rules, they're allowed to be up to 10% off of the number. So in theory, I could have been a few grams short. So I am very happy 
at 27.8 grams. That's, that's everything I bought. So definitely can't complain about that. So now let me just move my scale aside because we don't need that. We officially know that we do have 28 grams in here. So let me just dump this flour on the table and let's check it out together. So we're just gonna upside down the whole thing just so we can get a good look of what the nug distribution is like. Now one nug fell on the floor here. Let's pick that bad boy up. But here we have it. Absolutely nuts. Now before I said I was pretty sure I was gonna get a bunch of small nugs and like the, they're all a gram every nug here. Look at this all beautiful gram compact dense nugs. Like I am impressed. This is what I want. When I buy flour, I want to have beautiful, full, mature, compact, big nugs. Not these larfy, tiny nugs at the bottom of the plant. I want these nice, beautiful, big nugs. I am so stoked. And like I said, they even still have a little bit of freshness to it. They're not drying and crumbling and falling apart in my hands. Just awesome. I can't tell you how excited I am and impressed and surprised that these are actually big, compact, mature nugs that still have some freshness. Now when I look at the color, it's going to be like a mid light green color with these mid orange hairs. It does have a few extra leaves that I wouldn't mind if they were taken off, but really not a crazy amount. It's really hard to even complain about it because I am just blown away at this $5 a gram cannabis. And not only was it only $5 a gram, it was grown organically. So they didn't use any nutrients, they didn't use any supplements, they didn't use any crazy stuff to boost up the cannabis and make it better. This is organically grown cannabis, which also means they didn't have to flush any of the weird chemicals out and, and, and hope that it was gonna burn properly because they didn't use any chemicals at all. And more than that, they don't even irradiate their cannabis. There are so many LPs out there that just grow whatever cannabis, irradiate it to get rid of all the bugs and the mold and all the bad stuff, and then just sell it to people. And I find that really disgusting. I hate the idea of irradiating cannabis. So, so, so stoked that not only is this organic flower, but it's not irradiated. Just awesome and definitely the way it's supposed to be done. So now, I mean, let's get to it. I want to break open one of these bad boys and see what it smells like. But like, I don't need all this flour on the table here. I don't want it to get dried up and lose its terpenes. So I'm going to put a lot of this flour back on the t back in the bag. And we're just going to keep one little nice nug out so we could check it out together and see how it smells, how it smokes, and check it out properly. But so far, this Rotterdam OG from Highly Dutch is definitely impressive. Before I said I thought it was going to be small nugs, dry nugs, immature nugs, and it's none of those three. We got a nice, beautiful, compact, dense, mature, sticky nug. I am impressed. So now, let me break this bad boy open and see exactly what it smells like. So like I said before, nice, sticky, fresh. Man, do I love that. So let's give it a whiff. Huh. So definitely not the strongest punch you in the face kind of smell. I doubt it's going to reek up your room, but still I'd say like a, a subtle earthy musty kind of smell. Again, so much freshness. I am so impressed. I really didn't expect the stickiness. You can see at $5 a gram, that bad boy is sticking to my fingers. Look at that. That's not going anywhere. I am thoroughly impressed with the beautiful, sticky, fresh heads. Unfortunately, like I said, the smell isn't going to be very strong. 
but so far that's really my only negative. And with a $5 a gram cannabis for the only negative so far to be that the smell isn't that strong, I am happy. Yeah, like a musty, earthy kind of forest smell. Definitely nothing amazing, nothing like to, to call home about and like tell all your friends about. But I mean, uh, if that's the only negative thing I have about this Rotterdam OG is that the terpene profile isn't that strong, it's really, really going to be hard to complain. This is $5 a gram cannabis. I can't stop saying that. It's, it's, it's definitely the highlight, the most important thing about this flower is that it's only $5 a gram. Like, yeah, it's great that it's mature and compact and nice and fresh, but like $5 a gram is definitely going to be the title of this video because that is just nuts. And it's actually, it seems to be well-grown flower. All bunch of nice gram nugs, nice sticky fresh. I really hope it smokes well, because so far I am thoroughly impressed with this $5 a gram Rotterdam OG from, uh, what is it, Highly Dutch and Tea God. So let's just roll this up again. Nice, sticky, fresh cannabis. I, I, I can't tell you how surprised I am. I've tried a few dozen strains from LPs in Canada, and every single one of them, without fail, has been so dry that I didn't even need to use a grinder. I could just completely pulverize it up with my hands. But this one right here is as sticky as it gets. I mean, it is true that it was packaged only like a month ago, but still, I am thoroughly impressed with these nice compact nugs, beautiful sticky freshness. So let's roll this bad boy up and see how it smokes. Let's make sure it sticks everywhere, and then I'm going to look around for my packer. Today, I have my packer and I have my lighter. I am 100% ready for today's video. So let's just pack this bad boy up and see what this $5 a gram Rotterdam OG has to offer. So let's just burn off this extra paper and let's check it out team. Rotterdam OG from Highly Dutch. Cheers. That is unbelievably smooth. Now it's only the first puff, so very possible it's gonna change, so I'm not gonna judge it too quickly. But so far, I'm happy. Mm. Nice medium, thick body smoke. I really like that. Two puffs in. No irritation, no scratchiness. Again, there isn't going to be the craziest amount of terpenes. I'm not getting much flavor across, but that is kind of what I expected because the taste was the same. Not really a strong smell either. So definitely not surprised by that, but just a beautiful, smooth smoke. Mmm. Every puff, I get a nice, thick smoke, smooth smoke for $5 a gram. I am impressed. And you guys saw, I'm only three puffs in, and already I have a resin ring. Just look at that. $5 a gram cannabis. And already, we got a nice resin ring behind that beautiful, consistent gray ash. I am impressed, team. I really didn't have high hopes 
for flour that only costs five dollars a gram comes in a plastic bag i mean why would you think it would be good but like look at it it's so greasy and that beautiful consistent white ash That white ash is what I'm looking for. You know you have beautifully well-grown, well-taken-care-of flour when you have a nice greasy resin ring and a beautiful consistent gray ash. That is proof that this has no nutrients, no craziness in it. Everything was able to burn perfectly, giving you a nice consistent gray ash. I mean just shout out to living soil organically grown flour just look at it ah oh, i am impressed to say the least now i've taken a few more puffs here and the resin ring just keeps getting more and more pronounced i'll give you another quick shot just look at that beauty all the way around just a greasy puddle that's 19.5 percent thc just puddling up behind that consistent gray ash wow i i can't tell you how impressed i am at how this five dollars a gram weed is burning i really didn't expect it and i've spent double this i've spent more than double this and had way worse of a burn so huge shout out to highly dutch i mean you guys are clearly doing it properly and not only that you're charging an affordable price five dollars a gram i i really it just blows my mind that you can grow properly grown flour and charge an affordable price just i tip my hat to you team i am impressed So we've talked about the look of the nug, we've talked about the smoke of the nug, we've talked about the ash and the resin ring, let's talk about the taste. Now like I said when I broke open the nug, I really didn't get much of a taste to it. It was like a earthy, spicy, woodsy kind of smell but very very subtle and that's pretty much what's coming across on the taste. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I don't wish that it was more pronounced of a taste, had more strong terpenes coming across, but I mean, it's really, really hard to complain because that's going to be my only negative with this flower. The only negative, I thought I was going to have a list of 12 things. The only negative about this batch of uh, Rotterdam OG is that the terpenes aren't that strong. And I mean, if that's the only negative, oh, I am happy. So now, last but definitely not least, the buzz on this bad boy. Now, when we looked at the online website and we looked at the container, we saw that it was supposed to be more of an indica body buzz because of the pinene dominant terpene. And that's exactly what I'm getting. Now, I do have like a little bit of cerebral, heady scrambling going on, but mostly just heavy behind the eyes relaxing in the body kind of makes you move slow and talk slow and think slow so definitely going to be more of a body buzz and a pretty darn heavy one considering it's only five dollars i mean i i keep repeating it because i could barely believe it it is 19.5 percent thc which is a decent amount of thc but as we all know even if you have a high percent of THC, if the flower isn't grown properly, it's not going to buzz well. It's not going to smoke well. You're not going to enjoy it. So not only do we have almost 20% THC in this bad boy, but it's also a beautiful, clean, relaxing buzz. 
ah, I can't tell you, I can't tell you how much I am impressed by this $5 a gram Rotterdam OG. Ah, I really, it blew my expectations out of the water. I didn't think it was going to be anywhere near this good. I mean, compact, dense nugs, beautiful freshness. Everything was over a gram, no shake, not too leafy. Some beautiful trichomes. It had a great, consistent gray burn. Nice resin ring forming immediately. Super smooth smoke. I mean, other than the lack of terpenes, it had absolutely everything. So, with this batch of a Rotterdam OG bought from Highly Dutch, which is owned by T-God, considering the beautiful smoke and more importantly, the beautiful price, I'm gonna have to give this batch of Rotterdam OG a 9.5 on 10. I mean, all it's missing is a little bit more terpenes and it is absolute perfection. Just huge shout out to T-God, huge shout out to, gee, I keep forgetting the name, Highly Dutch, huge shout out to Highly Dutch, huge shout out to T-God. I mean, you guys are clearly doing it right. I'm so glad I bought this 28 grams of flour. I was really thinking that I was wasting my money buying something that was so cheap. But like, I can actually smoke it. I am stoked. So considering all that, like I said, nine and a half and it more than deserves it. Blows my mind out of the water. Blows all my expectations out of the water. I, I guess I'm going to start having to try some more Tea God products because this one is amazing. So that's been today's episode of Canadian Cannabis, checking out the cheapest flower available, and it's actually smokable. Who would have thought? Ah, so that's been today's episode of Canadian Cannabis. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next time and hope you're staying safe out there. And as always, peace and love. Cheers.